Jade City, the first book in the Greenbone Saga, came out in 2017. And here I am, four years later, about to launch Jade Legacy, the third and final book in the trilogy. When I began writing these books, my intention all along was that the heart and soul of the series would be the family saga. So one of the most satisfying things for me personally has been seeing readers get so attached to these characters. It seems like a good time to look back on the main characters and how far they have come. So the main uh, protagonists of the Greenbone Saga are the grown siblings of the Call family. They are the leaders of the No Peak clan, which is one of the two largest clans on the island of Kaycon. And the island of Kaycon is the only place in the world with magical jade, which endows its wearers with enhanced abilities that will remind you of the most spectacular feats that you've seen in kung fu movies. The people who train to wear jade are called green bones and the members of the Cull family are some of the most powerful green bones that they are that there are. The leader of the clan is called the Pillar and at the beginning of Jade City that role is occupied by Lon. He's the eldest brother in the family. He's been groomed for this role since he was young. And he is, at the beginning of the series, 35 years old, strong, thoughtful, prudent, but all is not well with him because he's also recently divorced. His aging grandfather, who was the previous pillar, still casts this long shadow over the clan. And worst of all, the clan's rivals, um, the Mountain Clan, is taking aggressive action that could spell war. Um, Lon is a character that has uh, had so much impact on the series and his influence and the consequences of his actions really ripple throughout the entire three books. Hilo is the second brother and the middle child of the Cull family. He starts out as the Horn, the leader of the clan's warriors. Uh, Hilo is a formidable, cunning street fighter, and he also has to step into responsibilities that he never anticipated. He is big hearted, he's charismatic, he's ruthless with the um, clan's enemies, and he's also very caring and protective of his family. Hilo was my favorite character to write. Uh, and one of the things that I'm most proud of in this trilogy is the decades of development of Hilo's character. His two best friends are the Make Brothers, Ken and Tar, and Hilo is married to their younger sister, and her name is Wen. Wen is introduced as Hilo's girlfriend in the first book, and I think that readers um, didn't anticipate just how substantial a role she was going to play throughout um, the series. She is a stone eye, which means that um, she cannot wear jade and doesn't have the abilities that jade gives to people. But she's one of the toughest, most determined characters um, in the books. She uh, is um, a woman who is not a fighter, but is very influential and powerful in her own way. So it is no wonder that she is a fan favorite. Lon and Hilo's sister, Shay, is the character I relate to the most. She is a businesswoman who left her home country and she's drawn back into the clan and the family when it's threatened with destruction. Uh, she is farsighted, she's strategic, she sees the ways that the traditional world of the green bone warriors has to change and adapt in a modern era. Uh, she um, has to put aside her childhood rivalry with Hilo um, and to bring all of her intelligence and her training to go up against the clan's enemies and to ensure that No Peak survives. And finally, we have Andon, the adopted biracial gay little brother and the youngest of the Call siblings. He is especially sensitive to Jade and that makes him a Jade prodigy, but he has a tragic family history 
and the events of Jade City set him on an unexpected path. Um, Andon is the character I would most want to be friends with, and he has to really figure out what his role is in the family. He starts off as this teenager in Jade City, and over the decades of the trilogy, he really grows up and becomes a force on his own terms. I've spent so many years living with the members of the Cull family in my head on a daily basis that it's hard to believe that my time with them is coming to an end. Um, I set out to write a story about a messy alpha Asian family uh, that has lots of interpersonal um, challenges and struggles, but at the end of the day, they stand together and they fight together. And they are definitely going to have to do that in Jade Legacy.